Welcome back to Sports Edge. You may recall last year we told you about Yale basketball player Brandon Sherrod. He had a chance to take a year off from the team to travel around the world with Yale's famous Whiffenpuffs, the world's oldest and best known collegiate a cappella group. So Brandon is traveling around the world as we speak, and he's agreed to join us via Skype for a couple of minutes to let us know how things are going. Brandon, first of all, how are you and where are you? I'm doing great right now. Good to see all you guys. Hi, Mom. Uh, I'm in Kyoto, Japan currently, and it's uh, 7.55 a.m. So we, we got you out of bed to do this. I hope that's okay. Yeah, no, that's totally fine. Definitely wanted to check in with you guys. All good. So tell us, you've been on the road since May. Has this trip been everything you thought it would be so far? I mean, looking at your photos on Facebook, you've been to some of the real great spots around the world. Yeah, it's been absolutely amazing, man. Um, we've, been, we've been traveling for about uh, two and a half months now. I've been to Europe uh, and a number of different places. I've been to uh, the Middle East, went to Israel and, and a little bit of Turkey, and then also Africa, which, is, which was unbelievable. And uh, currently we're in, uh, in our Asia leg of tour. We've been to Hong Kong, Cambodia, Thailand, um, South Korea, and now we're uh, in Japan. What's been your favorite spot so far, would you say? Could you, could you tell me a couple places you've been to that you'll never forget, like that wow factor? Yeah, for me, I guess South Africa was my, my favorite stop uh, originally uh, because I had I'd never been. We went to a number of different amazing sites. We went to the most southwestern tip of Africa. We went to Table Mountain, which is this gorgeous view. It's one of the, uh, the new seven uh, uh, wonders of nature in the world. And then also uh, our trip to Cambodia when we went to Angkor Wat, which is a, a collection of different temples um, in, in Cambodia, in, in the Angkor Wat, Cambodia. It was absolutely beautiful uh, we saw the sunrise there and it was very very breathtaking so a lot of fun in those two places so you're you're working while you're over there you've been you know doing some pretty important performances how have the shows yeah. gone with the whiff and puffs and what's the reaction been from the crowds yeah it's been uh, they, they've gone very very well um it's tough when you have so many uh, over the summer and it's very difficult when your audience doesn't really speak english but we've had a lot of fun uh, joining in with, with different people, and, and they re really seem to appreciate it, maybe even more so than they do in the States. Now, now, when you travel for a long stretch of time, you've been away since you know, the end of May, you're coming back at the end of August, there, there's certain things you can't pack for a long trip. There's things you need, right. like, like finding a barber shop. I, I saw something on your Facebook yeah. page about oh, that. God. Tell me about that story. Yeah, so I needed a haircut because I, I hadn't gotten a cut for like a month. Um, and usually when I'm home, I get my haircut about every two weeks. And so I did some research and, and looked for a barbershop in South Africa, and I happened to find this one spot called Yogi's Barbershop. And uh, I called up, and they said to come in, and I went down, and this guy gave me a fade just like I would get back at home. So it was really, really dope uh, meeting, meeting someone like that uh, overseas and also having someone who could cut my hair like that overseas. So I saw a picture of you on your Facebook page hanging off a basketball rim, I think, in Norway. So, so yep. how is your game right now? Are you in playing shape? Tell me about that. My game's good. I mean, if I had to play today, I could play. Uh, I, know, I know that for a fact. Uh, it's just the, the repetition of trying to get to a basketball court. It's been very difficult to find courts in every country. Um, but that's usually my quest, literally everywhere where I go. I've been blessed to play with people uh, in Turkey. Uh, I've blessed to play with people in Germany. I actually stayed with a friend of mine in Germany and uh, worked out for like a week while, while I was there. So whenever I have the opportunity to shoot um, and get to a court, I do it. But it's mostly uh, lifting. Uh, weight training, plyometrics, uh, a lot of cal calisthenics that kind of keep, to keep me in shape before the season starts. So listen, you're traveling all around the world. Are you going to be ready to get back on the bus for those weekend Ivy League trips around the Northeast? Can you do that again sure. this fall? I think so. I think I'll be able to, to fare with that after uh, you know a bunch of red-eye flights and, and, and early morning trains. I think I'll be all right. Uh, it's just a, a different thing that I have to do once I get off the bus, just playing basketball instead of singing. Well, listen, we look forward to having you come back home in the next few weeks and uh, safe travels, and we'll talk to you when you get back home, okay? Sounds great. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. All right. Thank you. That's Brandon Sherrod. We'll have much more Sports Edge coming up right after this.